To be remembered as an all-time great. To be a legend. Every day, athletes must strive to be better than they were the day before. Florida State's history is filled with athletes who did just that. Last month, eight new members were inducted into the FSU Athletics Hall of Fame, where they were honored for the tremendous impacts each had on their university. It's an opportunity for us to recognize not just former athletes, but, but people who have dedicated their lives to this university. These athletes came from all walks of life, but now there's one thing that will bond them forever, the legacy and tradition that comes with being a member of the Hall of Fame. And every day when our current athletes walk in to continue their work, they literally walk by those who've been there before them and I think it reminds them, if you give your best, maybe you too could have your name etched in stone. One such athlete continues to give back to the university today, working alongside Gene Deckerhoff each week on football game day radio broadcasts. William Floyd, also known as Bar None. I started playing football about four, about five years old, and uh, myself and Corey Fuller, uh, we used to ride our bicycles up here every weekend to look through the stadium, and it was like, man, we're going to play here one day. But Floyd didn't just play for Florida State. He always played to win. His tough yardage in critical situations and hard-nosed blocking helped lead the Knolls to their first national championship in 1993. He left a legacy of being a tough football player, and he was a wonderful young man to coach. Although these former athletes are recognized for their on-field triumphs, their value to the community certainly has not gone unnoticed. Greg Grady is not only known for being the first freshman to play varsity basketball at FSU, but for his commitment and love for those who surround him. It feels good to know that you really tangibly did something for somebody else, and that was my trophy. So even if I didn't go to the Hall of Fame, I still was a, somebody else's Hall of Fame in their heart, their soul, and their mind. Grady played for some of the most successful teams in FSU history as one of the school's best inside players from 1973 to 1976. After being recruited by over 375 colleges and universities, Grady chose his favorite. I wanted to be a part of something great. I wanted to have an impact. I wanted to leave my signature. I wanted to be a part of something that was going to cultivate me to be ready for the world. One sport, one ball, one goal. That's what women's soccer player India Trotter had in mind when she kicked her way onto the Florida State team in 2003. Trotter finished her FSU career in 2006 and with the second most game-winning goals ever recorded by a Seminole. Playing soccer here at Florida State literally shaped my entire life after college. I think I've learned a lot about the spirit of excellence. Um, for me, I have very high standards, but I think playing here kind of conditioned you to have that. Trotter is now the second soccer player ever to be inducted into the FSU Athletics Hall of Fame. But these are only a few of the faces being recognized for their achievements. Also being inducted is track and field sprinter Teresa Bundy, track and field's triple jumper and 2008 Olympic athlete Rafiq Curry, baseball standout Tony Thomas, former head basketball coaching great Pat Kennedy, and former basketball star and major Florida State ambassador Larry Strom. And the honor is not taken lightly. These former FSU athletes and coaches remain humble and nostalgic for where they've been and who they've become. Oh man, this induction is, wow, I don't, I don't even know if it gets any better than this. I'm so glad the university recognizes like what I've done for it because it's done so much more for me. I'm Lindsay Goodwin for Seminole Sports Magazine.